In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot bootloader prompt for Nexus 5K, 7K or 9K. Sometime what happened if you restart the device, maybe you use in the lab and you start the device again, Nexus 9K, 5 or 7K. So system will boot from loader rather than properly start. Let me go to the lab to show you. Suppose 9K I start and then I shut down this device. Let me start again and see. Similarly, let me start this one. Maybe I will face this issue. Most of the time you will face this issue that the device will boot into the loader. So what you need to do when it's loader. Okay. Next you need to type a DIR command and it will show you the image name. In this case, we have an XOS 9311.bin uh, bin means the extension. You need to type boot and then that file name and the system will restart. After that, you need to log in. And when you log in, you need to go to configuration, boot and boot flash. Okay. And copy running to startup configuration. After, after this, what will happen this device every time it will start properly rather than to boot into the loader. So let's go back to our lab and let me see that this device boot properly or not. Here is you see previously I just upload and I start it was working. When I restart this device is showing like this. So what you need to do type DIR. So this is the file name. So boot and just copy and paste this name and hit enter. That's it. This is the system will restart. And after that, I need to log in and then I apply to this setting. Okay. Here is, I will give them instruction that start every time this image. Okay. And I will apply and I will save the setting. So let's see, it will restart. Let's go to the other image. Maybe 5k is working or not. So 5k is okay. Okay, there is no issue with this one. And let's go to 7K if this one is also an issue. No, this one is also okay. So these two uh, devices are start properly. Let me stop and start again. Maybe it will face the same issue. However, in the case of 9K, you will face this issue every time. So this is the way to fix it. So let me start this one and let me start this one. And this device is starting okay. After we done this first things, we type boot and then the file name, the operating system, the iOS, and then it will start. Okay. So let's go back to this one and see. Yeah, it's checking the file system and let's see this one. Okay. So this two are okay. However, in the case of 9K, we face the issue. So this one is okay and this one is also okay and we just need to wait for 9k so let me stop this one and let me stop this one okay and let's see we need to wait for a while and after that when the device is started so what we need to do we need to log in and the username is admin and there is no password as i said after that we need to go to configuration then we need to type boot Nexus and then boot flash and then the iOS name then exit and apply copy running to startup configuration and this way next time when you sh shut down this device so it will start properly rather than to go to loader okay so let's see we need to wait for a while okay so let's test let me go back yeah so it's restarted let me type skip and hit enter after that i need to log in okay it will take some time so we need to log in the default username is admin and there is no password so let's go back okay and after that i need to go to configuration mode and then boot okay and boot flash and then the os and then exit and save the settings. So let's go back. Yeah, so it's come up admin and hit enter, enter. Okay, go to config and boot and then boot flash and then Nexus 
operating system this one and hit enter okay and when it's the apply after that i need to exit and save the setting so this is the way to troubleshoot it will take some time uh, to troubleshoot bootloader prompt for nexus 9k okay so let's see still we are waiting it will take some time so first we need to go to loader so we type dir it show us the ios then we type boot in ios so the system restarted when it's restarted we log in with the default username as admin after that we go to configuration and then boot nexus and then boot flash ios and now we're gonna exit and save the setting here so exit and copy running to startup configuration and next time in this device shut down so it will not go to the loader okay that's it so this is the way to fix this issue